Welcome to this video. We're going to talk about some different lathe tools that I can use as a machinist, why it's important that I have these tools on center, and how I center them on a lathe. So first let's talk about some of these tools. So the first tool I have here, this is my knurling tool. These can come in all different sizes and shapes, but this is the one we had laying around our shop. A knurl is this diamond texture that I have right here, okay? So this tool right here cuts that diamond pattern into it. I can open and close this and that um, adjusts for different diameters of work pieces. We're gonna talk about how to cut a knurl in future videos later on. After that, I have my boring bar, okay? So what this is used for typically, so it's, it's used on um, ID work or internal diameters, okay? So if I had my work piece here, this would be working on the bore of that. So if I needed to remove material from the inside, I would use this boring bar to do it. This is quite a small boring bar. I can hold it in my hand. We can get very, very large um, boring bars, but this is just a small one here. I have a carbide insert here, and there's a Torx key, or a Torx bolt holding that insert in here. After that, I have my parting off tool here. Okay, this is used um, kind of like a hacksaw, but when I have my uh, part turning, I can plunge this in and it does a cutoff operation. Okay, so I have a carbided insert right here and I can take these screws and I can adjust them so it sticks out further or it's shorter like it is now. I only wanna have this as long as I need. So I want this as short as possible whenever I'm doing any operations. Because this is so thin, it can have lots of flex and, and wobble. And that's why I want it as short as possible. After that, I have my threading tool. So this is just a single point threading insert. Um, we Again, we'll talk about threads later on. I have a carbided insert here. There's a, um, a socket head cap screw holding this insert down. I can also um, take this insert out and I have flat ones similar that look like this. So I can use this tool to also do some grooving operations. Last but not least is I have um, my turning tool. This is a DNMG. Okay, so this is used for turning um, the, the OD or the outside diameter of work pieces. I can also do facing operations with this. Okay, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes and talk about this right here as this is one of the most commonly used tools. Okay, so again, I have a, uh, this is a Torx bolt holding this down. Okay, so my insert goes in here like this, and then I tighten that down. Underneath the insert, I have something called a seat. This is this piece right here. This is a sacrificial piece. So if I crash this tool, the seat and insert will be damaged, but not the pocket of the holder, okay? So this is used to protect the pocket of the holder. If I didn't have this seat here, what would happen is if I crashed the machine or I crashed this tool, the whole bottom pocket would be all mangled and then I would have to buy a completely new um, tool holder. What we're gonna talk about next is how to, uh, what, or sorry, why it's important to have my cutting tools on center. So I always wanna have my tool on center. This is my work piece, the orange part right here. And this arrow is signifying my tool. I'm looking at this from my tailstock towards my headstock. 
and my part is moving in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so when I have my tool right on center, I have the point of contact um, right where I want it to be. This is going to be where the tools are designed to cut. This is going to be the most efficient way I can I can cut on a lathe. Now, if I have my um, tool a little bit too high, this can cause kind of a plowing action or a rubbing where my my material is coming around and it's not making contact with this um, top point it's rubbing on the front end or that tool nose here this is going to cause a very very bad surface finish likewise if my tool is a little bit low it's kind of hitting the insert at a negative angle so this is going to provide a really bad surface finish again and because it's the the materials coming around and pounding the top of that insert it could result in the insert breaking so if we're getting a really bad surface finish the first thing i would really recommend doing is making sure your tools on center installing a turning tool so this can turn um, on the od this can turn tapers this can do a facing cut so I'm going to make sure my tools on center. So this is one of the most important things. If I have lots of um, problems with my cutting tool, the first thing I'm always going to check is to make sure that it's on center. Okay. So I have here a quick change tool post. Okay. So what that means is I can install this in a variety of in a variety of different angles to fit whatever needs I have, okay? So there are multiple ways I can check my tool height. I can use a ruler against the workpiece. My favorite way is using the center of the spindle to center my tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my center in and I'm gonna rotate my quick change tool post so it's on an angle like this here. Okay, I'm then going to install my tool into my tool block. And how that works is I have three screws or three bolts here that are holding my tool into the tool post. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to push it against the back to make sure it's sitting flush. And I'm going to tighten these down here. This tool shank isn't long enough to hold all three bolts. So in this case, two are, are sufficient to hold this tool. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move my tool over close to my center here so I can take a look to see how high it's sitting. So if I look here, what I'm looking for is I want the top edge of my cutting tool to be perfectly in line with this center here okay so how this is adjusted is with this adjust height adjustment screw right here okay so as you can see if i unscrew this it's dropping down lower and if i bring it up here it's raising it up one thing to keep in mind is I want to have this tool post unlocked. So I have an unlocked position when I can lift the tool up and I have a locked position where I can't. Whenever I'm adjusting my height, I want to make sure I can lift my tool up, okay? If it's locked and I try to unscrew or screw this, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, okay? So again, I'm adjusting my tool height here and I'm looking at the center. So I want to make sure, again, that the top of this tool is right in line with the end of that center. So if I see here, that looks pretty good to me here. So I have this locked. Then what I want to do is I have a, a jam nut up here. I just want to tighten that down by hand so I don't need to set this tool up every time I use it, okay? This jam nut's going to stop this screw from progressing and it's going to lock it in place so that's why i set or that's how i set my center height on my machine